This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports the unemployment rate in Texas has fallen to 7.3% in January, the state's lowest jobless figure in nearly three years. The Texas Workforce Commission said Friday that the unemployment rate fell from 7.4% in December. The state figure remains below the national rate of 8.3%. The commission says the jobless rate is the lowest since April 2009. Texas added 67,200 non-farm jobs in January. And Commission Chairman Tom Palkin says the state is seeing substantial economic growth. Nine of the 11 major industries in Texas added jobs in January, led by professional and business services, with 18,100 jobs. Midland had by far the lowest local jobless rate at 4.1%. The McAllen-Edinburgh Mission Area had the highest at 11.7%. From the Associated Press, many clinics involved in a Texas health care program for low-income women won't be able to serve those patients, starting this week under a state law aimed at abortion-affiliated groups. The Women's Health Program provides cancer screening, contraceptives, and basic health care to about 130,000 patients. Participating clinics can't offer abortion But a law taking effect Wednesday will cut off clinics with any affiliation to abortion providers, even if it's just a shared employee. That includes Planned Parenthood clinics treating about 44% of the program patients who will have to find new doctors. Federal officials say the law violates Medicaid rules, so they're phasing out funding that covers 90% of the $40 million program. Governor Rick Perry says he'll save the program even if it increases Texas' deficit. The Associated Press reports a central Texas man is in custody after an infant he had care of was found to have swallowed a severe amount of alcohol. The Waco Tribune Herald reports that the mother of the infant returned home to find her child not responding normally. William Webb told the mother the baby was just tired. At the hospital, the baby was found to have a blood alcohol level of 0.291%, nearly four times the legal limit for drivers 21 and over. A bottle of vodka was found on the coffee table at the home where Webb was watching the baby. It's unclear how the baby may have ingested the alcohol. The baby was placed in intensive care. Webb is being held on $14,000 bond. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.